Me, I'm a type of man, I don't want to associate or go and visit anyone who has like a victim mentality, who's just stuck in a rut. They want some depression shit, long term depression shit. I don't want, I'm not saying it could, but I just don't want to be around that. I was going to say I don't want it rubbing off on me. It can't rub off on me, but I don't want to be around that. But there's a saying though, fear is contagious. That's a fucking fact. I've seen it. I've seen one person's fear rub off onto a next person. I've been in an elevator, been in a lift with a man. And this person has a, a little phobia of lifts, elevators. And he said to his son, who's two, three, four years old, don't worry, don't be scared, you'll be all right. Well, hold on a minute, why are you even telling the fucking you to not be scared? So, so, so what you're doing is you're putting fear into his mind When he don't need to be afraid Same thing you got parents that are scared to go on planes and that uh, When they do pluck up the courage to go on a plane with their youth They're telling their kid don't worry You're going to be safe There's nothing to be fearful for Hold on a minute How do you know this youth's going to be scared to get on the plane? How do you know this kid's going to be scared whilst they're on the plane? They're rubbing off their fears onto the people them around them So yeah, fear is contagious, isn't it? And maybe that negative energy, depression and that, that could be contagious and other people could catch it. Um, but me personally, I don't want to be around anyone like that anyway. Forget about the, uh, me catching it or it rubbing off on me. We ain't got nothing to talk about. I ain't got nothing to talk about with someone who's got the victim mentality, who's in a depression, who's in a rut. Someone who hasn't made nothing of their life. So anyway, me and my mum was talking... Uh, I'm just outside my yard, well, mother's yard, in it? Home. My yard is in Northampton, and this here is my home, in it? But yeah, I'm outside home, and I'm going to my yard in Northampton. Thought I'd make this quick video, in it? Boom. Me and my mum are chatting, and um, we know some older people, in it? They're siblings. They live near each other. They live next to each other, in it? And um, yeah, they don't they don't talk. One of the siblings decided, you know what, I ain't even going to go and visit that sibling anymore. So, I was thinking to myself, yeah, you know what, if I was that person, I wouldn't want to visit that person myself. Because again, depression and that victim mentality, we ain't got nothing to talk about. And it's funny. Hmm. This person's an elder for man. That man said this people them is well into their 60s and that. So they're elders for man. And I was speaking to this person that man knows. And throughout my whole life, that individual has not has not done nothing, accomplished nothing. A man has been sitting in the same position, literally, sitting in the same position throughout the course of my life. 29 Ross Clark years, isn't it? And I remember before I left home to Harringay in 017, so four years ago. I said to the man, you know, I work for Holmes Haringey, but I'm going to resign. And he looked at me and he spoke to me like I was stupid, not disrespectful, but he said to me, why would you want to leave a good and stable job to go on and become a self-employed electrician when you could be at the council for life? See, this is the mentality of people. A man's trying to tell me what to do with my life and a man's not even doing that with his life I'm so glad I have my own brain and I think for myself and I do what I want and I don't you know walk the path of what most people do or whatever in it yeah? I'm, a, I'm on my own agendas and that if I stayed at home to Harringay you think I'll be in a position right now if I stayed at home to Harringay I would not have my property in Northampton. I would not have my flat in Northampton. I would not have my uh, studio flat in Egypt. I would not come across and get these jobs where I'm earning 300 pounds a day, 10 grand a month. When I was at fucking home to Harringay, I was only on 120 pounds a day. How many properties you buying with that money? Check it. 2018 I worked at 
various different workplaces and that and if you read my book man detailed how many workplaces I worked at and I was just getting fired from bare workplaces and that that was in 2018 imagine when I was working at Holmes Harringay I would be able to save 10 grand uh, a year I'd be able to save 10 grand a year minimum working at Holmes Harringay In the year 2018, when I was getting fired from all these different workplaces and that, my employment rate, my mortality employment rate, if you want to call it, how long I survived at a workplace was about four and a half weeks per workplace when I worked it out. But you know, within that year of getting fired from about 10 different workplaces, you know a man was able to save up 19,000 pounds. So imagine, I was able to save up almost double the amount of money I would if I was in a full-time job as opposed so a man's actually a self-employed electrician I'm getting fired from workplaces and that but I'm still able to save up more money than I would if I was a full-time employee this is the power of taking risks this is the power of not listening to people around you especially like this video must be called be careful who you take advice from don't take advice from no one they ain't doing it themselves like man said there's bare youtubers on youtube talk about yeah man you know get focus and this and that or whatever in it, yeah but but where them man their receipts at see it's easy for man to jump on youtube and spit this and spit that and say yeah man you know just get focused and that but but where their receipts at yeah, it's all well and good having the mindset and that, but for me, that's all talk. Where there are seats at. Me, I'm a man, I can say, yeah, get focused. Get yourself a skill, get yourself a trade. Make that sacrifice. Save your ass clerk money, and then you can buy this property, that property, because I got that. Other man, they can talk it, but they ain't got nothing. Man are still at their parents' yard and that. And it's all well and good, yeah. I'm not saying man don't stay at their parents' yard and save, innit, yeah, but... So be careful how much advice man are giving out when they ain't got no receipts to back it because a man could pull a man or a gal and say right okay i hear your advice but what have you got to show for your advice you see my advice man talk a lot but if someone wants to pull me up and say boom what have you got to show for your advice i'll just send them one youtube video because man will be oh you, you talk like you got all these properties in there i made one video called um the weekend vlog fail or something like that i was in my yard then i went to my flat bam don't chat to me show you two properties in one video don't chat to me don't chat to me so yeah just be careful who you take advice from isn't it? Yeah. had a man tell me that i shouldn't leave my stable job to become a self-employed electrician listen life is uh, there's a lot more to life than fucking working for the local council never take advice from just ordinary people who are not doing nothing in their life again a man like that could try and give me advice oh you should do this or you do that but what are you doing with yourself let me just break down something this man ain't worked for like 20 30 years in it yeah so it's that type of man a man who and this conversation was years ago but it feels like yesterday a man who hasn't worked for 20, 30 years is trying to tell me about what job to stay at and don't resign from this workplace and go out and try and, you know, pursue your own agendas and that. Pursue your own business endeavours. A man who hasn't worked for 20, 30 years is trying to tell me what to do with my employment and, you know, what I want to do with my ambitions and that. So be careful who you take advice from, innit, yeah? Only really take advice from people. Only really consider what people are saying when they got receipts. Because if they ain't got nothing to show for what they're talking about, that's exactly what it is. Talk. Stay away. Done. Now.